Hi everyone, we're going to section 0.13 on the Cartesian plane and circles. Basically, it's this classic XY plane over here. Cartesian is named after Rene Descartes, the founder of analytic geometry. Descartes, according to the story, was thrown off of his horse and he was medicated and put in bed. So while he was in bed, Descartes, well, he was also someone who tried to prove the existence of God one time, but while he was medicated in bed, uh, he looked up at the ceiling and he saw a fly up around the ceiling. And he said, dude, <laughs> I noticed that I can locate the position of this fly if I figure out its distance from this wall and that wall and the ceiling. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the origin of modern analytic geometry. Descartes medicated and delusional in his bed. Anyway, what do we have here? We have a horizontal line called the x-axis, which is a real number line, and we have a vertical line called the y-axis, which is also a real number line. So we have these two perpendicular real number lines, and they intersect at a magical point called the origin, which, while, which we'll denote with the letter O. Now each point in the plane can be said to have an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. So for example, the origin, the origin corresponds to the ordered pair 0, 0. The red point here corresponds to the point 2, 3, surrounded by parentheses. The 2 is the x-coordinate of the point. The 3 is the y-coordinate of the point. Because this point is two units to the right of the y-axis, so that's the x-coordinate of this point, and this point is three units above the x-axis. So its y-coordinate is three units. It's an ordered pair because two comma three is different from three comma two. That ordered pair corresponds to a different point over here. Now, if we have two distinct points in the Cartesian plane, what can we try to figure out? So let's say that we have these two generic points here, x sub 1 comma y sub 1 and x sub 2 comma y sub 2, where these are all real coordinates. Well, we might want to ask two questions. First question, what is the distance between these two points denoted by this letter D? In other words, what is the length of the line segment that connects these two points as endpoints? A second question could be, what point lies at the center of this line segment? What is the midpoint of these two points on this line segment? It's like a pit stop on this highway. All right. So the distance between the two points, denoted by D, is given by basically the Pythagorean theorem, which we'll talk about later on in Trig, chapter four. The distance is given by the square root of the difference in the x-coordinates squared plus the difference in the y-coordinates squared. Now often, we denote the difference in x-coordinates by delta x. The triangle means capital delta. It means change in. The capital Greek letter delta means change in. And likewise, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 can be thought of as delta y, the change in y. And actually, it doesn't matter if it goes x sub 2 minus x sub 1 or vice versa. Same with these y guys over here. Because remember, if you were to switch these two guys, you would end up with the opposite, but opposites have the same square. So it doesn't matter if you switch these or not. In our picture, it would make sense that x sub 2 minus x sub 1 would be the non-negative quantity, that's delta x here, and y sub 2 minus y sub 1 would be this non-negative quantity here, delta y, because the second point is northeast of the first point. Bear in mind that delta x and delta y could be negative, and these squares here ultimately don't care. 
So the distance is given by the square root of the difference in x's squared, we don't care which order, plus the difference in y's squared, we don't care which order. Again, we don't care which order. It could be x sub 2 minus x sub 1 over here, or x sub 1 minus x sub 2 over here. It does not matter. Same with the y's. And again, this comes from the Pythagorean theorem. How do we get the midpoint? Well, come on. How do we get the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate of the midpoint? To get the x-coordinate, we take the two x-coordinates of the endpoints and do what with them? Take their average. How do you take the average of two numbers? You add them up and divide by two. So the x-coordinate of the midpoint is obtained by x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all divided by 2. That's how you take the average of two real numbers. Likewise, to get the y-coordinates, y sub 1 and y sub 2, to get the y-coordinate of the midpoint, you take the average of the two y-coordinates. You add them up and divide by 2, just like with the x-coordinates. Remember to put parentheses to indicate that we have an ordered pair.